AMD or Nvidia. It's like an apartment or a house. Like a burger or a sandwich. Like Coke or Pepsi. The endless war between these GPUs and their owners has become a whole story in the PC world. And then there is you. A person who just wants to buy a damn GPU and honestly doesn't care about all this drama. You just want your graphics card to do its job, whether it's gaming or work. So which GPU should you actually choose? AMD or Nvidia? What is better for gaming and what is better for work? In today's video I will answer this question and help you choose your future GPU. We will consider factors like price, gaming performance, work efficiency and whether you actually need a specific GPU at all. So get comfortable and let's begin. No! Now let's be honest, there is no such thing as a bad GPU. In our world everything is relative and the same is true for Nvidia and AMD. In my 19 years old on this planet I've used both brands. On the Nvidia side I've owned the GT7. <laughs> a GTX 1650 Ti laptop, an RTX 3050 and now I'm using an RTX 5070. On the AMD side I had only one card, the funny number GPU with 16 GB of VRAM, OC version by the way, but even that was enough for me to understand one important thing. These GPUs are fundamentally different depending on the task you expect from them. So let's simplify this as much as possible. If you're the kind of person who values every dollar, every FPS, and you only care about playing games, nothing more, then an AMD GPU can be a perfect choice for you. But if you're someone who not only plays games, but also works on their PC, especially with AI, video editing, 3D projects in Blender, or simple rendering, then Nvidia will suit you much better. However, as simple as it might sound, it's not that black and white. There is so many important details and little things you have to consider. And that's exactly what we are going to talk about next. A few moments. Later. Let's talk about one of the most interesting and maybe obvious things. RTX and frame generation. No offense to people who prefer AMD, but Nvidia is clearly ahead when it comes to RTX and frame generation. And that's not surprising. After all, this technology first appeared on Nvidia cards while AMD basically copied it. They made their adjustments and now AMD also support ray tracing, but it's still much weaker. Yes, on the new RX 9000 series, RTX works much better. And FSR is almost on the same level as Nvidia DLSS. But even this doesn't guarantee that AMD can handle ray tracing as well as Nvidia. Think about this, there are people who love single player games and care a lot about graphics. Sure, in multiplayer games graphics aren't that important, they are every FPS counts. Imagine this, you want to play Cyberpunk with RTX on because that's how the game really shines. You also want to add some graphical mods on top, some cars like Lumbergumper, Firiri, 4K textures. Okay, believe it or not, an AMD card will struggle with this much more than an Nvidia card. Yes, on the 9000 series you will get beautiful, stunning visuals with ray tracing, but on the 6000 or 7000 series don't expect ray tracing to perform very well. It's supported, yes, but not nearly as efficiently as on Nvidia. And just to be clear, I'm not saying AMD is bad, that AMD doesn't work with RTX, it does, it just works worse than Nvidia, it's fact. Imagine, if Nvidia didn't exist and there is was only AMD, sure, I would say ray tracing on AMD works perfectly because there is nothing to compare. But the fact is, Nvidia is the standard and the AMD is behind when it comes to these technologies. Now, if you don't care about new tech like ray tracing or advanced frame generation, then yeah, you can definitely consider AMD. They are cheaper and that's their main advantage over Nvidia. Price. Price, motherfucker. Okay, RTX and frame generation are cool, no doubt about that. But we are forgetting one very important factor, raw performance. I'm talking about real power, performance without ray tracing, without DLSS or FSR, just FPS. And let's be honest here, for its price AMD is absolutely destroying Nvidia. No matter how much we say that Nvidia is more advanced, no matter how much better RTX and DLSS are, you can't take this away from AMD. For every dollar you spend, AMD gives you more raw performance. Take the 9070 XT for example, it cost way less than the RTX 5070 Ti, yet in raw performance they are almost the same. And in some games, AMD is actually faster. This is exactly why so many people choose AMD. You often get more FPS for the same money. And that's cool. Another thing that deserves separate attention is VRAM, the amount of video memory. Today, especially now, when memory limitations are becoming more common, VRAM has become a very important factor. And it will matter even more in the near future. Now here's the key difference. 
Cards. Nvidia cards often come with less VRAM, while AMD usually offers more for games with high resolution textures, future AAA titles, mods, and especially 4K gaming. This is a very important detail. VRAM directly affects how comfortable your GPU feels in modern games. And at this point, AMD once again has an advantage because it offers more video memory for a lower price. Alright, let me give you a personal example. My old 6900 XT is an older card and costs less on the used market today. But despite that, it still has more VRAM than my current RTX 5070. And in raw performance, they are actually very close. So technically, I didn't upgrade for performance. I switched from AMD to Nvidia, mainly because of the technologies and the power efficiency. And yeah, speaking about technologies again, I want to be honest with you. For me personally, an AMD GPU didn't work out. I've talked about this in my older videos about AMD, but I will say it again. Yes, AMD cars are cheaper. Yes, they offer more raw performance for the money. And yes, they usually come with more VRAM. But unfortunately, I'm someone who works more than plays. Right now, I don't play games so much. Mostly, it's Minecraft with my girlfriend when she asks me to join. Or a few matches in Counter-Strike with my homie and that's it. When I bought my funny number GPU, I generally thought it would handle all my tasks, like video editing, rendering, and the AI work like stable diffusion. I saw that AMD was cheaper, I watched a few reviews, and I didn't fully consider the fact that AMD is much weaker in professional and the AI workloads. So I bought the AMD card and yes, I regret it now. Don't be like me and don't repeat my mistakes, my comrades. And once again, the reason here is pretty obvious. AMD GPUs were not originally designed for professional work or heavy productivity tasks. They were made mainly for gaming and nothing more. AMD GPUs are even used in PlayStation consoles, which actually supports this point. Consoles are built only for gaming, and PC on the other hand is usually used for many different tasks, not just games. Nvidia's CUDA course is a game changer. Okay, many people don't know what CUDA cores are, so let me explain it simply. CUDA is a technology from Nvidia that makes GPUs work much better in AI tasks. And not just AI, but also with video editing, rendering, and the professional software. It helps programs use the GPU more efficiently and speeds up the whole workflow. Of course, AMD has its own alternative called ROCM. It can also be used for AI and work, but it has big problems. First of all, ROCM is poorly optimized for Windows. In most cases, it works properly only on Linux. And let's be honest, not everyone understands Linux. And not everyone wants to switch their operating system just for this. Second, ROCAM is hard to install and has limited software support. Because of this, working with AMD GPU is simply more difficult. You need to learn Linux, you have to install everything manually, and understand how it all works. Even after that, AMD still performs worse than Nvidia in most cases. So, yeah, with Nvidia everything works out of the box. You just install the drivers for CUDA from the official website, no headache, no extra pain, and that's it. AMD also doesn't have a video encoder as good as Nvidia's. Yes, AMD has its own alternative, but it simply work worse. You get lower video quality at the same bitrate, less optimization for video editing software, and updates come much slower. So yeah, I hope everything I said was clear to you. I tried to explain everything as simply as possible, without unnecessary stuff and without using too many complicated words. Because this video is made for regular users. To so keep it very short and simple, if you want maximum gaming performance and you don't care about technologies like frame generation or RTX and you just want the best performance for your money, then AMD is the best choice for you. You will save money and in many games you will get more FPS than with NVIDIA. But if you care about video editing, streaming, or working with heavily professional software, then Nvidia is the better option. Yes, Nvidia is more expensive, but the price is justified. Because Nvidia is not only for gaming, it's also for work. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Goodbye.